It's Mr. Kanyele once more with Visual X Masterclass, still doing uh, statistics or data handling. I want us to go to this next section it's called the group data. How do we deal with the group data? Up until we draw our graph there, which is called uh, Orgive. Orgive, it's a graph. When you talk of graphs, you must know what shape it takes. For example, when you talk of a, a parabola, you should know that it's a graph that looks like this one. When you talk of a hyperbola, it's a graph that will look like this one. When you talk of a straight line graph, it's a graph that will look like this one. When you talk of a cosine graph, it's a graph that will look like this one. So it is important that you must have a shape of a graph before you sketch it. The same thing will happen in this particular section uh, when you draw a graph called the Orgive. It's a graph that looks like an S that has been pulled. It's a letter S that has been pulled. Uh, it's going to be a a graph like this. In the olden days we call this, it looks like a particular jive that we used to do in our days called inyoga nyoga. It just takes the shape of inyoga nyoga, this graph. So the graph that we'll sketch at the end will be a graph that looks like uh, inyoga nyoga, the oil graph. Now the, the daily cells in this 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 graph is called the the histogram. It's not a bar graph. A, a, a bar graph have spaces in between, but the histogram are, are, are close to each other. Uh, the first question that we need to do in this section is to fill this table. Because when we sketch our archive, we are going to use the daily sales and cumulative frequency to sketch, to put our coordinates there. Now let's find this one. How do you find the frequency you read off from the graph? Uh, the daily sales and rent that are between 60 and 70, you look at the bars that we have. The first one is between 60 and 70, 70 and 80, 80 and 90, 90 and 100. That's what we have here, 60 and 70, 70 and 80, 80 and 100. We took it from that uh, histogram that we have there. Now, what is the frequency if the daily sales were between 60 and 70? Ah, you, you read off from the top of your graph, if this is 6, remember this is 3, 4, 5. So the frequency there is 5. So the frequency here is 5. Now the question is, what is cumulative frequency? Cumulative frequency is when you add all the frequencies that you have at that particular time. So at the beginning, the frequency is 5. So there's nothing that we add on it. So the cumulative frequency in this particular case will also be equal to 5. Remember, okay, let's, let's move on. Uh, between 70 and 80. What is the frequency between 70 and 80? You go to your graph, you check between 70 and 80, what is the frequency there? You read off from there. This is 9, 10, it is 11, just before 12. So between 70 and 80, it is 11. Now the next question is, what is the cumulative frequency? How do you calculate the cumulative frequency? You calculate all the frequencies that you have. So it was this 5, you add to this level. That's why we create our Z to find the cumulative frequency as we move on. So we, the first cumulative frequency was 5. Okay, this was the frequency, the cumulative frequency was 5. The frequency now is 11. So you add 11 and 5, what do we get? 11 and 5, you will get 16. So our cumulative frequency in this particular case, it will be 16. All the frequencies that we have, it is now 16. Now let's look at this uh, group here, between 80 and 90. Between 80 and 90, what is the frequency? Ah, 21, 22, 23, 4. So it is definitely 22, this one. Between 80 and 90, the highest there, it is 22. It is 22, right? Cumulative frequency, I need to add the frequency plus this one. Cumulative frequency, 16 plus 22. Uh, 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus 2 is 3. So it is, that one would be 38. The next bar is between 19 and 100. You go to the uh, histogram. But dealing with 90 and 100 now, 90 and 100, you read up there, this is 12, so it is 13. 13, you can pick up the frequency there is 13, 1, 3. 
cumulative frequency, you add this one and this one to find the cumulative. In, in other words, from here you go there, from there you, you add this and that one to get this one, you add this and this one to get that one, you add this and this one to get that one. That's how you go. All right, uh, so 38 plus 13, so it's 8 plus 3, it's 11. It will give us 11, carry 1, so it will be 4 plus 1, 5. So it's, is, it, is, it, is it 51? Yes, let's check again. It's 8 plus 3, it is 11, carry 1. So it's 4 plus this one, 4 plus this one, it's 5. Yeah, it's 51. Right, let's go to the next part, between 100 and 110. Between 100 and 110, what is the frequency there? Oops. Is it the first one or the second one? The first one. So the first one will be this one, which is 7 in this particular case. It is 7. Add this one to this one, what am I going to get? Uh, 58. So the cumulative frequency is 58. The last bar, between 100 and 110, uh, between 100 and... Okay, let's move on. Between 110 and 120, it's exactly on the mark. This one, uh, it's 1, 2, 3, it is 3. It is 3. Then the last uh, cumulative frequency is 58 plus 3, it should be 61. Remember this value here will be your value of n when we do uh, further problems. This, the value of n, the, the last one that we find in the cumulative frequency gives us the number of times, our n. Uh, that was the first part where we had to complete that table. What is the next question there? Let, let us check the next question. We just completed uh, question 10.1, we are moving to 10.2. The question says, draw an ogive for sales over November and December on the diagram sheet. We will be sketching our ogive this side. We'll draw our ogive this side. This is where we are going to draw our ogive. How do you draw ogive? The first one will be 60. We will, in the first one, we'll take the, 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 the lower quartile, but moving forward, we'll be taking the upper quartile. Now, the first point, we are, we are going to put our coordinates until we get our archive. Remember, our archive is a graph that looks like a nyoganyok. Let's try and sketch this graph. Daily sales there, it's 60. Daily sales is 60 and zero. That's where we start. This is what the first coordinate that we have. It's this one, which was 60. The next one will be uh, plotting the upper quartile and the cumulative frequency. So the first one will be 70 and five. Okay, the first one will be plotting 70 and five. The next one will be 80 and 16. The next one will be 90 and 38 and so on and so forth until we finish our points. Uh, all right, uh, so it is 70 and what? And 5. So this is where 5 is. So this is another point. I'll put them on red. Remember, I'm trying to, to sketch my archive. The next point is there. It is 80 and 16. Remember, you take the upper quartile and cumulative frequency. So the next one will be 80 and 16. This is where 80 is. This is where 15 is. This is 5, 10, 15, we are looking for 16, so 16 will be somewhere there. I'm just making rough sketches. So it's 16 and 80, so 8 is somewhere here, alright, this is where it will be. What is the next point is there, after 16 and 80, after 8 and 16, it is 90 and 38. 90 will be somewhere here. It should go with 38. 38 is just close to 40. Uh, so it will be somewhere there, even though mine is not drawn to scale. Fortunately, in the exam, you'll be given the diagram sheet. We'll just catch this one. 
after 1938, I've got 151. 100 is somewhere here. Goes with 51. 51 will be somewhere there. 100 will be somewhere here. So that will be the point. Right. Uh, the next one. After 151, it is 110 and 58. 110 will be somewhere here. 110. Uh, 58 is close to 60. So it will be somewhere there. Let me deal with 58. As well as 110. I think it's 110. Yes. It's 110. It's somewhere here. 110 and 58. It will be somewhere there. 110 and 58. The last one. Uh, it's 120 and 61. 120, 61 is above the 120 and 60, 60 is here, so it will be somewhere there. So this is my archive. All that I need to do now is to join those points to have my graph that looks like in your yoga. Remember that then say in your yoga you sketch it. This is how a graph called the archive will look like. This is the graph referred to as an archive. It is a graph that looked like an, a, 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 a snake. Thank you.